What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today I'll be taking you around this awesome car. It's the Lexus LC500. Well, and I'm going to take you around the car, show you all the incredible design features on this car and all the cool details. And later on, I'm going to drive it on this road towards the Autobahn and blast it down the unrestricted Autobahn as well to check out how it drives over there. So, um, to begin, I have to sort of state a disclaimer because I am absolutely in love with this car. I really adore it. I think it looks incredible. It looks out of this world. And well, let me just switch on the lights. Because even those are cool. I am seriously infatuated with this car. And it's about the way it looks. The way it drives, the way it feels, the way it makes you feel, the way it sounds. It's just, yeah, I, I don't really have this feeling often. I think I had it once before with the Porsche 911 GT3. Um, but okay, let's check out the front first because we've got that spindle grille, that sort of hourglass shaped grille with all those individual elements in it and a very cool thing about this grill is that uh, it starts up here obviously and then it goes down and it sort of fades away these elements get smaller smaller and smaller and smaller and then they go away and the the shape sort of lengthens so it it, it just fades away and it gives the the front end so yeah a, a look of speed like it's moving which is really cool um, the light unit is also a piece of art and well that's because if you check that out you see three separate light units all with lovely aluminium on top and this sort of weird wavy shape in there um, and these LED daytime running lights are gorgeous as well and what's insane is that this protective plastic this cover is just one piece and it goes all the way to the front and back and the daytime running light is actually going into the light unit which is i mean why it's just so cool um we have also got indicators right here uh, it's carnage over here a lot of dead bugs already but indicators right there and an air vent that guides air into here and out of here to limit the turbulent air around the wheels this car is fitted with uh, the touring package it's called in the netherlands i think this package is called different things in different countries but uh, here it's called the touring package which means we get these gorgeous 21 inch wheels which are oh they are just a piece of art with that uh, it's forge alloy with those black inlays it's just wow i oh i think it's so such a cool car oh um moving on to the side well it has these sort of invisible c pillar things and this is also black so you have a sort of a floating roof also because you have this aluminium strip that stops here and and you get sort of a yeah you get sort of a floating roof idea which is quite cool uh, another air vent air duct right here that guides air out of here around the wheels uh, there they are the gorgeous wheels again and moving on to the back well look at it it's gorgeous and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, um, let me just sit here. If you look at those angles, those lines that move from the rear light units down and inward and then back out again, that's sort of the spindle grill again, that shape, uh, which is really cool. Light units at the rear are incredible as well with sort of an infinity mirror effect 
uh, repeating the LED light unit uh, one, two, three, four times, and it fades away, which gives it this this idea of depth, like like the light is going all the way up to here, uh, which is really cool. Exhaust tips, well, we've seen this a lot in the in the in the past few years, that the exhaust tips themselves are not really part of the exhaust anymore they are uh, merely a part of the bumper so there are exhaust tips coming from the exhaust i don't know if you can see it but there are two there and two there and this is in the bumper so that's not part of the exhaust but it does look quite good and i think that this no this is closed this is open the bottom one is open so I think there's actually air coming out of there from somewhere. Um, we also have this retractable spoiler and a carbon fiber roof, which is also part of the touring package. Um, it also has retractable door handles, so it's closed right now, it's locked. But if I push this once, the door handle comes out, and if I push it again, the door locks. So, let me just... Don't know if the spoiler works um, without the engine running. Yeah, it does. So there it is. And it actually raises at 80 kilometers an hour. I think that, that also looks good. Those retractable ones usually don't look that good, but this one does. Okay, moving on to the engine. Where is it? There it is. So we've got that five liter naturally aspirated V8. We know from Lexus, we love it. Uh, it's well pretty much 10 years old now uh, started out in the ISF of course built with Yamaha I believe yeah and uh, well it was first in the ISF then in the RCF in the GSF and now in this and they sort of kept improving it um, the ISF sounded incredible on the induction noise that, that the engine sounded incredible but they really struggled to get an exhaust note from it. And this was improved uh, with the RCF, with the GSF, but with this one, my God, have they done it. It is incredible. Uh, they also got rid of that annoying shift sound, that, that, that beep noise that lets you know you have to shift. That's gone, thankfully. And, well... Let's move on to the interior because this is a piece of art as well. I'm really sad that we have it in this spec. It is graphite black on the outside, which is it's a cool color for the car. I mean, it looks good, but they have a yellow as well and a red and a dark red and a blue, which would have been incredible. And we have a black interior and that is a real shame because let me just grab this piece of paper I got from Lexus. We'll get to this button later because that's also delicious. Okay, check that out in yellow, in red. Freaking awesome. Okay, so these are the interior colors. Black, dark rose and ochre, I think. This is insane. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos of this car and, and photos with this interior. All tan, all... I heard somewhere crushed caramel. That's a way better name than ochre, but... It's just everywhere, that tan leather, just, oh, man. Okay, so that's a shame really that we don't have it in that interior. Um, we also have this carbon fiber door sill inlay which is also part of the touring package and it's really cool because this is sort of a matte and this is glossy 
really nice. Um, what else? Doors, all covered in leather and aluminium. Beautiful door handles. Uh, Alcantara here with sort of that wave and a very cool light. If you close the door, if you lock it, the little light comes on, a little green light, which is cool. And I believe that this is forged carbon fiber, which is really cool. All right, let's get in and check out these seats. Incredible seats, they look amazing. They, they are super supportive, really high side support uh, on both the lower and upper part. Alcantara inlay. I mean, it's just leather and Alcantara everywhere. On the dash, on the roof, completely Alcantara. Oh, it is insane. Really great steering wheel as well with magnesium pedal shifters behind it, uh, gear shifter, and well, the infotainment. So this brings me to another point. There is someone, I think, I'm assuming, that works at Lexus and his only job, maybe it's a team even, but his only job is to make sure that every button you touch feels insane. It's ridiculous. Every button is weighted so nicely. You, you push it and you just, there's this, this wave of happiness coming from, from within, from within your soul. It's, it's so rewarding to press buttons. And well, and that goes for pretty much every button, I think. Also for the shifter pedals, which have a great click to them. Uh, this power volume button is, oh, it's so lovely to turn. It just feels great. The seek track button is incredible. Tune, everything. This one even, if you open this one, you have sort of a cup holder situation. You can open it as well. But then when you press this, it closes automatically and it it has this soft close for oh my it's the attention to detail in this car is insane uh, if you want to learn more about the philosophy of lexus and why this is also incredible check out this pov review i made of the lexus ls 500 hybrid uh, i go into that a lot more there so if you are interested check that out and now the moment oh this button Oh, is everything is so incredible. Okay, and I wanted to show you one more thing. Uh, let me just switch on this GoPro. Because if I press this button right here. Oh, the entire rev counter tachometer moves over and gives you uh, a great yeah a great feeling as well it's so well oiled and and smooth it's just insane oh okay let's turn this off again you've seen that uh, i'll show you some more when we're driving later on all right let's start it up oh yeah v8 sound uh yeah Looking forward to this one. Alrighty, switch to drive and we're off. So, what is this car? I mean, it looks incredible. It looks really futuristic. It, look, it looks like a sports car, like a, like a supercar really, but it isn't. Uh, it is a GT. It's a sporty GT and the sooner you get over that, the fact that it looks like a supercar but it isn't, the sooner you will love this car because as a GT it's incredible. It's sort of, uh, think Aston Martin, that's, that's how this car feels. It's like relaxed athleticism, you know, it's not racy, it's not darty it's not razor sharp okay let's switch to sport plus ref counter changes as well okay here we go Ooh, 
<laughs> oh yes, please. Oh my god. It actually revs to 7100 RPM and that's also when peak power is delivered. Peak torque is at 4800 RPM, so you really have to keep it going. You really have to rev it out to extract the maximum from it. Uh, let me just turn off traction control because I saw a little light flickering and we don't want that. I have to push it really long, I think. Is it off? I don't know. Traction control turned off. Okay, I think this is it. Oh my god. I'm just going to keep that window open for now. I hope you can hear me fine. Uh, we'll switch to manual. And this will improve the feeling you have with the gearbox and with the pedal shifters. Okay, left here. No, traction control is not turned off. Okay, I'm just going to stop here and get that traction control sorted out because it is quite annoying. It really, it's quite invasive. Yes, there it is. VSC turned off, pre-collision brake system unavailable. Okay, and luck has it, we are at a tunnel. No, I'm kidding, that was prepared. I knew that was coming. Okay, manual. All right, uh, no one behind me. There we go. Oh, oh and you get this really loud crackle on the upshift, which is really nice as well. the window for now <laughs> oh my god this this car feels incredible the balance is really really good it also has a torsen limited slip differential uh, that's also part of the touring package but my god that felt really nice oh man I love this thing I love it Okay, so we are almost at the Autobahn now. There it is. We are going to enter here. Turn on the GoPro again, so you have a nice view. So if I put this in normal. Or comfort, that's how it usually looks. When I switch to sport, it looks like this. When I switch to sport plus, it looks like this. Okay, um, there we go. Limiter. Oh, yes. Wow, it's actually quite, quite fast. And it's faster than I was anticipating, really, because it is quite heavy. It weighs 1900. 35 kilos something like that which is really heavy and it only has 477 horsepower uh, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour 4.4 seconds top speed 270 oh man it sounds almost muscle car like They also 
included some sound tubes um, that go from the engine compartment into the interior to give you an enhanced induction sound or engine sound but that exhaust sounds so good oh yes just listen to this rev limiter oh man where are you going to get something like this okay I'm going to end it here I absolutely adore this car I am hopelessly in love with it so I hope you enjoyed this video you can subscribe by clicking the big button you can check out this POV review of a GSF and you can check out this POV reviews playlist Thanks for watching. Bye.